Reverend Father Timothy A.J., a priest of the Catholic Archdiocese of Abuja, has called for introspection on the reason for following Jesus Christ. He gave the call in his homily at St. Augustine Catholic Church in Sun City Estate, Abuja. And he said, let them see Since there's a little boy with a lunch, bring the lunch to me. I will remember the lunch of the little boy is what? Five loaves and two fish. Two fish. And he said, give it to them. After he gave thanks, he gave it back to his disciples. And as they distributed it, we have the miracle of multiplication. And Bible recorded it that 5,000 men were fed, not to mention women and children. Therefore, there were more than 5,000 people in that event. Fast forward again to last Sunday, the people came looking for Jesus. And he said to them, you are looking for me, not because you want me. Amen. 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 You are not looking for me. What are you looking for? Yeah. You are looking for food. Because I gave you bread. This reminds me of a, something that happened somewhere where I walked. This man retired from his police force. I'm sure he got some good money and he started a church. He started a church, he got a building like this, he started a church. But the trick he was using is that before you come into the church, there was a of rice waiting for you on your seat. His number increased. He had a crowd. But as the mudo of rice began to decrease, so also the number of people were coming decreased. What happened? They were not coming to the church because they wanted to see Christ. They were coming there because of what they can they can get. It's similar to what happened in the time of Jesus. He gave them bread. They saw the miracle happen before them. And now they are coming to eat the bread that he has given, not he himself. And he said, why do you do this? Seek for me. I am the bread of life. life. If you eat of this bread, you will live forever. You will have eternal life. Dear brothers and sisters, do you come to church only for what God can give? Or you have come to seek God for himself? Have you come to have a relationship with him or only what he can give? No wonder then, when they are struggle, there are people who will never miss church. But when they go in get school, what happens? They are too weak. They are too lazy. They are too comfortable to come to church. When all hell is left loose, you sleep in the blessed sacrament. You are always in the chapel. What happens when things are going well? You can't remember when last you visited the chapel. Exam is coming, exam is coming. You are fasting, you are praying. Immediately you pass that exam, get that admission. What happens? No more prayer, no more rosary. It means that you only look for him for only what you can, you can get, not he himself. The priest, who is popularly known as Father Tim Sachs, also charged the faithful to improve on their prayer life. When you go through the entire psalm, you will see how you can actually test and see. He has given us the answers. In stanza, stanza one of that psalm, how do you test to see that the Lord is good? Through praise and worship. Stanza one says, I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise will always be in my mouth. Most times you are depressed, downcasting. You want to kill yourself. But begin to praise. Begin to worship. What happens? Your soul is lifted. Imagine you are going through a difficult moment. And you begin to say, Messiah, you are the most Messiah, you are the most As You know, as you are sweeping your worship plate, you are showering, you are doing something, and you are thinking that thing. You see, you begin to lose sight of the problem, and God begins to come into the picture. When you see suicide cases, it is just bankruptcy of the presence of worship in the life of that individual. We enter this church with worries, with difficulties, with pains, but immediately the worship song is introduced. Can you still think of it again? immediately replaces your worry situation. Number two, how can you taste and see 
that the Lord is good is my prayer. If you want to start that 2003, he says, I sought the Lord and he heard me. That those who seek the Lord lack nothing. If you have your bulletin, you can go through it again. He said, those who seek the Lord yeah. lack nothing. So if you are a man, a woman who can pray, you will see the goodness of the Lord. I was telling them this morning, many other times we want people to pray for us. But the truth of the matter is they will not remember. Amen and amen. amen. They will not remember. 90%, 80% of those who say pray for me, they have not finished their own prayers. Are you with me at all? Yes. It's the truth of the matter. Yes. So if you like, don't pray. You're telling people, put me for prayer, put me for prayer. They don't remember. I'm telling you on this other, I'm telling you the truth. 80 to 90. Very few will remember. And even the very few, your intention is the last to be mentioned. They must have come heaven and if by chance they remember, they now say, God, and that my sister that is sick, have mercy. They go away. <laughs> Amen. But for that their own, they have cried, they have prayed. When you come to your own, they will say, have mercy, just hear them. When you see that our own, God have mercy, hear us. They will still come back to their own. Learn to pray. Amen. Amen. Please tell somebody, learn to pray. Learn to, learn to pray. Learn to pray. Learn to Prayer pray. is the master key. When you pray, you will see the goodness. Concluding on his homily, which was centered on tasting the goodness of God, Reverend Father Timothy A.J. advised the faithful to shun wickedness if they truly want to experience the goodness of God. We turn it back for your good. If you are a kind-hearted person, you know how to give, not just money, your time, your talents. Of course, money is good and your resources. But you see, when you learn to be generous, you learn to give, you will see the goodness of the Lord. Amen. Amen. I, I want to share this testimony with you, just one or two. This one happened to me and then the other one happened to someone. There's a woman that normally cleans the church where I was staying in the parish. Old woman. And somebody gave me some clean, clean notes. And as I was coming down the staircase, I felt in my spirit to, to bless her. And I stopped. I said, Mama, I remove it. I put it in her hands. She held my hands. I said, my son, as you give me, people will then give you. Amen. Amen. That month, it was, I saw blessings everywhere. And I said, now so you give. It's like, <laughs> and I didn't stay long. It was, I'll be giving her. <laughs> amen and amen. amen. But this is just one case in many. I can't start giving you plenty instances. But many of you know what I'm talking about. It may not even be immediately, but somehow, somewhere, you will see the goodness of the Lord by your generosity. You help someone on the street who is sweeping, just give a bag of rice, just, in, just 50 kg or something, and you say, your children will honor you. You see it. In future, you will see it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Second one is there's a lady, not a lady, a woman. She comes to church very early. She cleans the seats for people to sit. She makes sure there is no dust. She took it as her own generous donation to the people of God. And one day she has a back pain. As she was doing it, she felt something in her body. She went to the hospital. The back pain is no longer there. Yeah. The scan again, the scan again is no longer there. She didn't go for revival to have a blessing. What happened? In a generous action. The goodness of God located her. She has been doing it for a while, and the day God has chosen, she received her, her miracle. And that is what we call taste and see that the Lord is good.